What if I told you that the thing right here is one of your lungs? You'll see. Take a deep breath, the deepest you possibly can. Your mind fills with tickling bolts of peacefulness. But also with the insight that this isn't a couple of lungs at all. It tells you that this is a rubber glove. Just like the ones you buy at the grocery store. Now, close your eyes. Open them again. The colorful pulsating shapes line up in front of you. Slowly, they bump their way into your head. Silently. Unsuspectingly. It's the Rafifi coup of the mind. Your head is the vault the jelly, the uninvited guest. Who eats jelly anyway? What is it even? The only reasonable thing to do with it is to take a pencil, just like the one you got first day in school, and push it through it. Further. And further. And further. And further. Now take a good close look at this. Because it's special. This is a rare breed. It's half dog, half hair conditioner. This dog doesn't even like dog things like playing fetch or rolling over. But that's okay. This dog wasn't placed on this planet to do stupid tricks. It was placed here to be shampooed and captured in high definition slow motion so your clogged-up mind could smoothen up just by looking at it. That's why. And that's what you are going to do. You're going to look at this shampooed dog. Eyes on the dog. Gradually, your brain becomes fuzzy. Eventually, even furry. And suddenly, woofity woof, woofity do, the dog is inside your head. What to do? Nothing. This is just right. Who's that? It's your old friend. Nose. You used to do everything together. Fishing, cycling, throwing rocks in the water, playing tricks on the angry farmer who chased you over the fields until your legs couldn't carry you anymore. Kid stuff. Without a care in the world. But growing up, 
made you drift apart. You went to get an education. He went on to do no stuff. But then again, look at him now. Is that a... Don't look at it. Never look directly into a Swiss cheese with soft cheese coming out of it. At least not for more than a couple of seconds at a time. Instead, I want you to close your eyes. Portray the cheese in your mind. You now have the cheese on your mind. You are getting heavier. Eventually, you are becoming the cheese. You are the cheese now. A big Swiss cheese laying on a rugged table in a beautiful valley of the Alps. A cowbell jingling in the far. Drips of water trickling from the roof of a little cottage. It's spring. A little woman comes out of the cottage and slices a piece of you and puts you on a sandwich. This is wrong. But at the same time... Right. You're a cheese after all. Incomplete mental peace. Your mind is pasteurized, purified, distilled. Left is only thinking as innocent as a newborn puppy. All stress, agony and worries have been separated from your brain and carefully whipped down into this Italian ice cream who slowly, silently flows towards the floor. Soon every dusky thought will be completely absorbed by a fancy carpet, never to be seen again, drip by drip, trouble by trouble, agony by agony, gone. All that is left is pure smoothness in mind. 